you queer cats are tone setters The same reason my main legion of chrome wetters With long cheddar, mixed with lines written No time slipping, when we rhyme spitting Divine mission, since the house days G.A. Grandma left DJ Tanner outrage The South stays, about that Beretta clapping Lines balanced with Good job. No mercy. Trap New York shit. No mercy TV dot com. I know what time it is, man. Um, ill well, man. Oh man, what are we doing with him? What are we doing with ill well? And I ask this because here's the thing, man. We often see people tend to take two battles in a weekend. Oh, uh, you have a few cases where people take two battles in the same day. You feel me? You have um, you have Rum Nitty who battled drugs. He flew across the country to battle uh, LL Cool G. You had John John. I forget who he battled. I think it might have been Prep, and then went to Cali to battle Cali Smooth. But uh, I don't remember if the Cali Smooth battle was three rounds or one round. I gotta go do my research. You understand? But uh, for a battle rapper, it will to do two battles in one night and you have a lot of people saying that he didn't lose a single round or that he only might have lost one round i think that's some legendary shit you understand and i feel like ill will they gotta start being a lot more respect on his name you feel me because that's not easy to do that's not easy to do you feel me uh a couple of the people who i consider I want to say pioneers in terms of doing so many battles back to back. Like one of them is definitely Math Alpha. You remember when he did that whole six battles, you know, taking six battles in one year. He was doing that at a time when everybody else wasn't doing it. You understand? This is back when uh, URL was probably throwing an event every three or four months when battlers could only get booked uh, two or three times in a year. And Math was like, yo, I'm going to do six in a year. After that, you seen all these battlers start to want to take more battles. And that's, honestly, it's crazy because that's one of the things that led to the oversaturation of battle rap. And I don't even want to say it as a bad thing, you feel me? It's just the talent is available. And leagues are like, yo, if all this talent is available and you're sitting around and these guys are saying that they actually want to battle on a monthly basis or a bi-monthly basis then let's start throwing more events, you know, and that's what happened. So, you know, math is definitely one of the pioneers you got to give credit to for that. Dre Dennis is another one. It's going to probably go overlooked, but if y'all familiar, look at, you know, he did it on a track. Uh, what's he, he, what he, what he would do, right? Uh, we would have trap events and, we would have events where we would need to like make up a battle so we'd do an event maybe like a week later here battle on the event that we scheduled and then the event that we was you know doing the makeup battle on you know he did that a few times uh on gates of the garden his own platform you know he tends to have two day events and he battles on both cards you know and even in between you know the trap and you know gates Dre was still one of them guys that would battle on different leagues back to back. Like, he would do this league, he'll do that league, do that league. Like, you know, sometimes have months where he's doing like three or four battles within the month, you know. And even with all of these other people doing, you know, the, the frequent battling, I don't think I've ever seen a battler battle two people literally back to back like, uh, he battled both Yorana and Miss Miami on Born Legacy 9 this past weekend. And he battled them back to back. When you say back to back, meaning like he battled one of them, that person walked off stage and the other came on stage and he battled them. You know, and a lot of people saying he was on 10, like, you know, for both battles. 
You understand? And that's impossible to do. I, I don't know how niggas do that. You feel me? Um, Back in the day, it was a thing where, you know, you just battle for unlimited rounds until, you know, a person run out. Um, But now it's a little bit more structured. So, you know, you don't have all these people like you. I mean, shit, look at Surf. You can give him <laughs> three or four months to prepare for a battle and he can't complete three rounds. You feel me? But you have Ill Will who just completed six straight rounds. Like, you know, so I, I feel like we have to start mentioning him in some of these conversations. You know, some of these, if you want to say one of the goats out the Midwest, like he has to start getting mentioned in that conversation. You feel me? And I'm going to tell you like this. There might be battlers that start to try that. There might be battlers that start to say, yo, I'll take two opponents this night. You feel me? I've always seen battlers say it over the years, but I never seen none of them take it serious. I've always seen battlers say, yo, man, F both of y'all. I'll kill both of y'all the same night. What's up? And it doesn't happen. You feel me? And I, I would love to start seeing it happen more often. You know, like that, that would be a dope challenge in battle rap. But here's my thing. I don't want niggas to start trying to cash in off a gimmick like this and then not be able to complete what they're doing. You understand? Like, if you try it once, and it's something that you can't do, then you should never be booked again to try it. You feel me? Like, certain people, and, and, and it should be in-depth research done before league owners try to book battles like this. Like, if you're somebody, first of all, if you're somebody who's choke-prone, no. You will not get two battles in one night. I do not want to see somebody like Surf pretty much rob smack for two bags for two battles in the same night and then he jersey in both of them. Like you are going to get probably two rounds out of six. I don't want to see that from him. You feel me? But there's other battlers that, you know, maybe they don't get booked as often. Maybe they, you know, um, have better ways to prep that they can probably get off two battles in one night and still do well, extremely well in both of them. You know, so I, I want to see how many of them um, can actually get this done. Uh, leave names in the comments. Let me know what battlers that y'all actually feel like can do this because th this is something that I feel like after Ill Will did it, more people are going to be open to seeing it from certain battlers more often. Like, now... When a battler says, man, I killed both of y'all in one night, fans are going to be like, well, shit, Ill Will did it. We actually may want to see this. You understand? We may want to see if it's possible. So, you know, it's, it's something that I feel like can really add to the culture. Like, it's something that I feel like can really, like, be a, a new thing. You know, seeing a, a name like Ill Will, <laughs> he's main event and co-main event. You understand? Um, he, he said he did it strategically, though. <clears throat> um, he wanted to be first battle with a night just so he didn't want to do one battle, be hanging around the event, laughing and joking with everybody, drinking, smoking. And then by the time the second battle comes along, he's too fatigued to perform at his best. You know, that would personally like that would really kill the feel of having two battles in one night because you're having two battles in one night. You're doing it for the purpose to show that, yo. I can handle two opponents. I can handle two back-to-back -back battles. I can do six rounds, you know? So, uh, now, I have seen battlers before uh, take two battles in one night, but they do one battle. They, uh, have, they, they have to space the battle out because now... They have to get in the zone for the second one. Now they have to rehearse their material for the second one. And then they do their second battle later on that night. Like, I forgot who actually did this before. Somebody somebody at the trap did this before. I forgot who it was. But uh, they did one battle earlier in the day. And then they did another one. I'm, I'm wondering if it was Dre Dennis. I'm wondering if it was Dre Dennis that do this that did this. I'm I'm not too sure. But a lot of times that might be how it goes. Like 
somebody will somebody will do a three round battle and also be booked for like a one round on the same card and then you know they'll do one battle and then leave the venue uh be outside for like two or three hours practicing the other material while the event is going on and then come back and do it off you understand what i'm saying um if y'all happen to know any examples feel free to you know leave it in the comments but i do feel like this is a dope thing i do feel like this is a dope thing. i do feel like it's a challenge i do feel like you know more battlers to start doing it if in their heart of hearts they truly feel like they can accomplish battling back to back that way and every battle is going to have you know a different way of doing it some battlers are going to want to battle both opponents back to back some battlers are going to want to do one battle chill for a few hours and then battle the other one later at some point in the night you understand what i'm saying so you know um let me know what y'all think about the whole situation i personally think it puts ill will automatically in legend status because he's doing something that not everybody can do like that's something that's very unique you understand what i'm saying so you know um let me know what y'all think about the whole situation and um yeah man i'll be back with more blogs in the future y'all know what time it is man no mercy trap new york shit no mercy tv.com i'll holler at y'all soon i'm out Bam.